In this week's lesson, we'll be painting drapery. The first step is to draw this on watercolor paper. There's a line drawing in Blackboard for your reference. We'll go from this to this. The colors we'll be using are ultramarine blue, mauve, crimson red lake, rose, and white. The first step is to mix the base color. Here I'm using crimson red lake and I'm adding a little bit of water. Now I'll paint the entire drapery area with this base color. Allow this step to completely dry before moving on to the next. Now I'll mix a shade color using the same crimson red and I'll add some mauve. I'll also add a little bit of ultramarine blue. Now I'll mix a super shade color. This is ultramarine blue and the crimson red. Just make sure it's darker than the shade color. I'll start by using the super shade color and I'll line the bottom of the fold. Then I'll go in with the shade color and overlap it. Then I'll go in with the base red color. I'll blend this together. It should end around halfway up the fold. Again, I'll start with the super shade color at the fold. I'll overlap it with the shade color. And then I'll go back in and overlap that with the base red. I'll repeat these steps for the remaining swags. Again, making sure that I stop the blending around halfway up each fold. Now I'll mix a tint color using the scarlet red, some rose, and some white. I'll also mix a flash color using white and some of the tint, making sure that the flash is lighter than the tint. You should now have five different tones from light to dark. I'll divide this swag in the middle, but I'll start with the flash color. Then I'll go back in and use the tint color and overlap it. And then I'll go back in with the crimson red. When I'm done, I'll lightly blend them together. I'll repeat this process for the rest of the swags. Again, starting in the middle, using the flash, then the tint, then the base, and blending them together. Now I'm taking that flash color and adding a little bit more white, just so I can get a brighter highlight. I'll use this to line the middle of all the swags, just where the light would hit. Then I'll use some water and blend it out. Now I'll move on to the sides of the drape. Again, I'll start with the super shade. I'll go over to the shade, then the base red. Then I'll add my tint and my flash, just to give it a rounded appearance. And I'll do the same with this one. This part of the drape here, I'm gonna start with the flash, go to the highlight, then the base, then the shade, then the super shade. Now the recessed areas of the drape, I'll use some super shade 
in some water. And this will push this area back. Now I'll do the same thing to the other side. Once the last step has completely dry, I'll go back in with the super shade and I'll line the recessed areas a little more just to crispen up the edges. I'll do the same with that super flash. I'll use it very sparingly and just add a few highlights. Here I added just a touch of white, just to pop it even more. Alright, now we're going to move on to the fringe work on the bottom of the drapery. The colors we'll be using are Lamp Black, Ultramarine Blue, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Lemon Yellow, and White. To begin, we'll use Yellow Ochre and we'll add a little bit of water to it. Then I'll use this color and I'll paint the base color of the fringe on the bottom of the drapery. The fringe base should be a little bit wider towards the middle. Also add that fringe base to the bottom on each side. Allow this base to completely dry before moving on to the next step. Now we'll mix a shade. We'll just use burnt sienna right out of the tube with a little bit of water. We'll use this color and we'll do some lining to indicate some fringe. Be random with its placement and allow spaces in between for other colors we'll add later. Now we'll mix a super shade, which is burnt umber, and we'll add a little bit of water. I'll do the same thing. I'll add some fringe work, but I'll place this super shade where the dark areas are placed on the drapery, so closer to the sides. I'll also be random with its placement and I'll leave spaces for other colors. Now I'll mix a tint color using white, lemon yellow, and I'll add a little bit of that ochre into it. Now I'll add this tint, being aware 
where the tint is on the drapery. So here I'm putting it in the middle. I'm also putting it in the middle here. Then I'll add some clusters of highlight or tint to the rest of the fringe. Now I'll mix a flash color, which is white, and a little bit of that highlight color. I'll use this color very sparingly, and again, I'll add the highlights where the highlights are on the drapery. So give it a rounded appearance. Using this same flash color, I'll go in and I'll highlight the top of the fringe to make it look like stitching. Now I'm mixing black with ultramarine blue. I'll use this color and I'll paint this around to give it more of a presentation. Now I'll mix a shadow wash. I'll use the black from the previous step, and I'll mix it with some ultramarine blue with a lot of water. I'll use this to cast shadows under each swag onto the one below it. I'll also use some of the shadow wash in some of the recessed areas and up into the corners. And I'll also cast a shadow onto the fringe. As an optional step, I'll use some colored pencils. This will help to soften some of the gradations. It'll also add some textures. You can lighten some of the highlights and darken some of the lowlights. It's important not to overuse them, and not to push too hard. You don't want to sheen on top of it. It's just some subtle textures to help soften everything. And that's it. You're done.